Yeah, I've been on, I've been going for about 45 minutes. Just coming up on early in the plane too. Pretty good camping here. See somebody standing there right now. But that was 2.2 miles in about 45 minutes. <clears throat> so now I'm heading to that's actually Slidebrook lean to. I'm heading to Lillianbrook lean to, which is about another 1.6 miles, which I'm hoping to do in a little over 30, 30, 40 minutes max. So, Slidebrook lean to 5.50 a.m. 20 after 6. This is Lillian Brook lean to, which is right here at the base of the Beckhorn. I'm gonna take a little break and uh, get some water, have a little snack, and I'm gonna start banging up north on these hills. I'm making the turn. To head up the Beckhorn, it's gonna take me the shortest distance up the Dix Mountain. I can go this way too, it's called Hunter's Pass, but it's uh, like another mile longer. It's not as steep, but I'm just gonna go right up the hill, right up there. And I'm 3.8 miles to Elk Road, which is where I'm parked. Okay, here I go. Coming up the Beckhorn. That's where I started, way down there at Elk Lake. The other side there. So I came all the way in here. And I'm coming up this ridge. So looks like it's gonna be a pretty nice day today. And I plan on going all the way up there on this whole ridge. So I'm going up. This is gonna be a burly day. <laughs> I knew it, but this one's gonna be a, a hike. So I'm just gonna take it slow and steady. Try to enjoy myself. So 7.55. I wouldn't say I'm making good time, but I'm going. 8.45, making pretty good time. Starting to get up where it's a little breezy. Here's a nice view. I see way out there, the tall one, it's Marcy. There's still a little snow on the side of Marcy. It's huge, expansive view. But dial a nipple top across the way. Then you have Haystack and Marcy, that, that kind of mounted one in the back is Skylight. And you can kind of see Basin. I think that's Basin just over Nipple Top there. set but that might be on the other side of this mountain actually but doing good still going up Let's see if you can see through the trees there that's where I came from way down there Elk Lake so I've made pretty good hike so far I'm feeling good getting up on the ridge now so slow and steady once I get up on this ridge some ups and downs but this is the hardest part I'm almost done but the hard part then it's the less hard part okay quarter 10 of 9 
came up another real sketchy part. But I kind of went off the trail for a second until I realized what I had to do. And then that's where I'm heading. So it's a good view of the ridge from up here. So I started going that way and I shouldn't have. I had to turn around from it. But I decided to do that. But there you go. That's where I've been walking. So I'm in a Dix. A 920. So it took me a little over four hours, four hours and 15 minutes, taking it really slow. Just as clouds. It's going to be pretty gnarly. There's going to be some clouds coming over the ridge. That's where I'm heading. Nice view of the Great Range. But I was way down there at that lake. Been a good hike so far, but only about half of it done. I'm about 6.6 .6 miles now, so I got about halfway done, and I got to run this whole ridge. So should be pretty good. I feel good. Eat some lunch. Take it slow. It's still only nine in the morning, so we'll see how it goes. Talk to you in a bit. It's 10.15, just came booking down that. It only took me like half an hour. So, going all the way over here. I was way down there. Started, came all the way in this valley. All the way towards the end. Came up over those two mounds, up that steep section right up to that rock. That's not the summit of Dix, that's actually the Beckhorn. The summit's behind there, you can't see it anymore, but I can see if, if you were looking at it from the, from the valley, you probably thought that was the summit. It's very pronounced, but when you get up there, you realize there's a little bit more of a climb. And then we, I just booked down this ridge. And uh, heading over this way. See, there's some nice clouds moving over the mountains, but there's really no wind. It's perfect weather. It's probably, say up here, it's probably in the f maybe 50, maybe low 50s max, but it's perfect for what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna go right through those clouds, all the way over to that peak you can barely see, Macomb. 10.15. All in all, pretty sick mountain. Just great views up here. All right, back on the trail. The summit of Huff. Just had a guy pass me who started two hours after me. He had nothing on his back except for like this small little thing. And he was running the trail. And he said he was gonna go down around the lake and then come back up over some of these peaks. I don't know what he's talking about.
he said he was going to do three more peaks, but he had no idea what he was even saying. So I don't know what, if he was full of it or not. So there's the back horn. Came all the way down that ridge, through that cloud area. Some nice slides coming off of Dick's. Again, there's Elk Lake. And I'm heading over there to Macomb. So I've done two of the four. Got more than half of it done. I just hit the Macomb slide on my way home. Parked right down there. So I got like three miles left and it's all downhill and flat. So as long as I don't kill myself on this slide, some loose rocks and stuff, gotta be careful. Gonna make some good time. So anything else good to shoot i'll shoot it on the way so it's like 20 of two i'm coming down this slide it is really slow usually slides are pretty easy this is all loose every step is like your last step it's like there's nothing that feels secure so what i'm doing is going right down the edge just holding this tree. That's what you can see everybody's kind of been doing. The sides are just, it's just the only place where you feel certain. So I just got back to Slide Brooklyn too. Crossing the brook, my big back over to uh, the other side of Slide Brook. I got 2.2 miles left. That was a brutal, Descent is definitely the hardest part of the whole damn hike. Just try to fall off a bridge. Uh, oh man, that was a tough descent. Man, I don't think I've ever had a descent that was that tough. It was so technical. Every foot had to be in the right spot or you were going to fall. And I am beat. I was going to take a break there. I was a little worried. I was coming down the, the stream. And I was afraid I was going to miss this trail. I thought I was going to hike all the way to Elk Lake. But then I popped out and found the trail on the side of the stream and I just confirmed I was always thinking there was a bridge at least across that stream so if I just kept following it following it eventually I would see the bridge but I couldn't remember if there was a bridge on that stream but pretty good I'm at 10 hours already which I guess isn't too bad because I only got about an hour left. It's a little bit longer than I wanted. That slide took much longer than I expected. I think it took an hour and 45 minutes. And I was expecting it to be like 45 minutes to an hour max. But I'm still in one piece. So now, on my way out. It's all flat now, so should go a lot faster. So that's like 10 hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> 